Of course, we all know and love negative levels inside the backrooms. How can you not? You know, they're the least stable, most dangerous, most corrupt, and all of them tend to be just such a dangerous time. Plus, it's like one of my most popular series on the channel, so thank you. The level in today's video is no different from any of that. It's level negative 22, or the Cognito Halls, as it's been nicknamed, and it's absolutely bonkers. Especially if you open your eyes at all and stare into the colors here. Let's just say they might melt off. Anyways, yeah, you probably want to hear what's going to happen. So without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Level negative 22 is classified as a class PSI, which is this symbol, and is very unsafe and not secured at all by anybody. It's just its own thing. The main danger here is a massive mental cognito hazard, which I'll fully explain later. But first, let me explain this classification a little bit. So only levels that are legitimately crazy have this classification. So if you see this little symbol, you know that it's gonna be insane. And I think only like five or six levels have it. But the level as a whole takes the appearance of multiple rooms, corridors, and staircases that are all made out of some type of concrete. But not just the normal gray concrete you see in real life. No, everything here is a bright, vibrant concrete. Like, really, really bright. The colors are entrancing and shimmering and can be any known color from the spectrum. They're very vibrant and glistening, and you really, really, really just want to look at them because it looks like you're in a dream. Now in this level, there are absolutely no objects at all. No, barely any items, tools, or anything. Most of the place is completely empty. And because of this, this place will give any wanderer who comes here a huge sense of loneliness and emptiness and dread. It feels like you're in solitary confinement, kind of. There's just, you know, halls and doors and stairs and maybe some random shelvings and seats and stuff. But other than that, it's completely bare. The level starts to get really, really strange when you notice that the colors on the concrete surfaces here will begin to change right at about 10 minutes after you get sent here. But more on that and why that's important later. While walking around the colorful halls, you might run across a single room or a single hall that is just one solid color. Now these are pretty rare and you have to be extremely lucky to find one because this is where one of the exits will be located. So if you find one, keep your eye on it and try to find the exit inside. Now the layout and overall expanse of this level has been compared to level zero. I mean, the two levels share pretty similar attributes. They kind of have narrow halls and big open rooms, but it is noted that the hallways here in level negative 22 are way taller than level zero's relatively short ceilings. The halls here also connect in pretty strange ways because it's not always just a doorway or a continuation of the hall. Sometimes they're connected from air vents or windows or just small holes in the walls that you got to climb through. It's like this giant Rubik's cube of colorful hallways pretty much. So to recap, we have a behemoth expanse of concrete hallways that are different sizes and colors that can change color randomly. That's pretty much all you need to know. And normally at this point, I would talk about an entity or a creature or something scary that makes the level very bad, but there aren't any entities here. There's something much worse, if you can believe that. You see, the level's rainbow colorations on all the surfaces is a cognitive hazard, meaning that simply looking at them will cause a ton of mental issues to happen. The color on everything isn't just Color. You know, it's not just color of light reflecting off of it. It's actually a substance that appears to our eyes as color. And the deathly part of the level begins the second you step foot inside of it. Because just making eye contact with this colorful liquid stuff that's all over everything will cause your sanity to drop down instantly. Just the simplest little glance will cause you to start losing your mind. Like you could blink your eyes open and see the colors and you'll start going crazy faster. Now, there are a couple of ways to save yourself from this awful fate and fading into this colorful liquid for eternity. One of them is you can close your eyes and not look, but then you can't see where you're walking, which isn't good, of course. Or you can do what most people do and look at the less vibrant colors in the hallways. So try to find the colors that are in shadows or colors that aren't as bright because it seems that these less vibrant colors will have less effects on your brain and eyes. 
So if you somehow see like a dull brown, like I said, keep your eyes locked on it and just walk the entire way through while staring at it. But if you find yourself in a hallway or a room where everything is like neon orange, you're, you're probably screwed, sorry say goodbye to your eyes because looking at the bright colorful substance will cause your very eyesight itself to become glitchy and staticky and they'll be extremely sore and feel like they're stinging and eventually your own eyes will be able to melt out of the sockets on your face the feeling at the start when you're exposed to the colorful liquid has been likened to a public pool if you stick your head underwater and open up your eyes and you get all the bleach and chlorine inside that's what it feels like to keep your eyes open inside this level while staring at that colorful liquid. Now the colors at the beginning of the level and the colors at the end of the level have been identified to be very different because the beginning area seems more legit. It almost seems like there's actual paint on the walls and there's actually just real color and it's not that liquid. But the deeper and deeper you get, your eyes will become more irritating and scratchy and the colors on the walls will start to seem more glitchy and liquidy and dripping almost. And things will start to spin and collapse off the walls. It's like the reality, it's like the, it's like the fake reality is crumbling almost like you've been hypnotized. So pretty much the colors at the start aren't as potent as the colors at the end, but they still have that same bad effect of keeping your eyes irritated. You just won't know until you're too deep to save yourself from it. Now the level is also known to cause people with epilepsy or underlying symptoms of it to struggle very badly. Since the changing and warping colors can be too much for them, it could set them off and it could cause them to go into an epileptic fit. The feeling of being on this level has been described as your face being strapped to a TV screen that has a constant glitch on it. Like one that's constantly buzzing and crackling and your eyes are just taped open staring right at it. That's the only way to describe it. The only known medication or like remedy for this effect of your eyes being stung by the colors is almond water, of course, which actually doesn't fix anything. It just makes the symptoms less severe and it'll reduce your dizziness and your hypnosis in order for you to escape. Your eyes can still be damaged, but these symptoms will be less bad. That way you can get out. And the deeper and deeper you go, like I said, the more the level becomes a glitch and less it becomes real. Like eventually, it'll just become this entire nasty, colorful, glitchy, warpy place. And you'll pretty much just fall down and melt into the glitch from your eyes first, of course. So if you want to make out it alive and not have your eyes melting out of their sockets, you got to listen close. To exit the level, you need to find a randomly appearing door that has no color on it. It's just a blank door, and these will be located in those rooms or hallways that are all one color. Open that door, you'll be sent out of the level. Now, if you never find this door, you need to keep your eyes closed and walk towards another door that you might find with no color. Feel around for it and open it up, and you'll be sent out. To enter, you can walk through any colorful door on in any level of the backrooms at all, which makes it even more dangerous because you can get sent here from literally any place. So don't do that, whatever you do. And like I said, if you do get sent here and if you do come, do not open your eyes instantly because you do not want to have the effects of this level. Oh, by the way, there's also no colonies or entities or anything, you know, just the beautiful expanse of colorful, glitchy liquid and infinite sprawling hallways. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Love and appreciate you all. Thank you for watching the end of the video. Make sure you tell me below in the comments what other levels you want me to go over. What are the things you want to see? Thank you all so much for your support. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Also, while you're down there, check out my second and third channel links to Glean Spoogly. Uploading bangers on there as well. Always, of course. Hope y'all are having a great holiday season so far. Brugmas is right around the corner. Mark your calendars for the middle of December. Get ready. Thank you all so much. I'll see you later.